Some of our worst fears concerning Warhammer Plus may just have been confirmed. There has already been a few rumours floating about as to how Games Workshop have approached and treated some of the fan content creators. Uh, for example, the people behind the last church fan animation seem to suggest that they had been contacted by Games Workshop, who essentially, in a bit of a roundabout fashion, threatened them with copyright strikes. Essentially saying something along the lines of, oh, that's a very nice product you've got there, but, you know, this is kind of in violation of copyright, isn't it? We could just strike you, or alternatively, you could agree to work for us on our upcoming project. A bit of a nice thing you've got there, it would be a shame if something were to happen to it kind of approach. And recently now, there's been a post on a Korean Black Library forum from somebody who apparently claims to be Sodaz, another Worm 40k fan animator, which... And bear in mind here, I don't speak Korean, I've been provided with a rough translation of what it says, so if you can speak Korean, and I'm completely off the ball here, do feel free to point it out to me. But apparently he too was contacted by Games Workshop, who said that, you know, nice stuff you've got here, but again, we can copyright strike it unless you agree to work with us, so take down all of your videos now first and we'll get back to you about Warhammer Plus. Then apparently, they didn't contact him for a month. He sent him an email and said like, okay, what is this nonsense? I'm not going to work with you anymore because you just completely dumped and ignored me. And now he's incapable of making any further Warhammer content because he's afraid that they'll copyright strike him. This sounds an awful lot like what I was afraid of. The Games Workshop essentially swooping into the fan animation market full of people who were doing this out of, well, their own interest, their own passion, and going, mm -mm -mm, you're not allowed to do that unless you earn us money by doing it. And if you continue to do it, we're going to sue you. Now, I'd also like to point out here that the, the idea of Games Workshop a company who has borrowed quite heavily from more than a few other creators, now being so very defensive about their own IP to the point where they're threatening apparently to sue fans. That is one hell of an asshole move, but considering GW's previous history with litig litigation, I'm not necessarily overly surprised. And we are now also left in a position where Games Workshop is monopolizing Games Workshop animations via threats and bribes, essentially. Which, and here's the problem again. I've said again and again and again, if this leads to superior 140k animation, to a superior product that we get access to, then I don't necessarily have a whole lot of a problem with this. It's annoying that they had to delete all of the already existing products that we had access to for free, of course, and that's also a really, really assholish move, but again, so long as it produces something better, eh. Okay, I'm willing to swallow that pill, but the moment a company like this becomes monopolistic, becomes in complete control of the product, the next step is invariably to water it down, to destroy the creativity of the creators, and tell them what they're supposed to make. We have no competition here, so you better make something that we decide you make. No more passion, no more personal interest, it's going to be yet another soulless corporate product, like every other official Games Workshop shop animation. Something boring and bland. That is what's probably going to happen now. Hopefully they'll get at least one project out before the creative bankruptcy really chokes out the creators, but I now consider it a basic inevitability. The moment Games Workshop achieves complete market dominance via, again, threats and intimidation, is the point where we will be losing access to the good products. Bearing in mind also, I mentioned uh, this a little bit around the whole um, the whole idea of them doing like official lore stuff. I don't feel threatened by that in the least because <laughs> official Games Workshop lore is basically just going to be marketing spiel, isn't it? Whatever model they want to sell that month, they'll be like, oh, oh, look, they're so cool. Oh, aren't they awesome? Like five to ten minutes little blurbs of lore. Nothing like the product that I produce. But 
Again, it does raise the interesting point. If they're now starting to threaten with legal actions against people who make fan animations because they themselves are now technically engaged in the same field, how long until they approach any other content creators and go, well, you know, you're creating something that has to do with our brand. I guess we're going to have to sue you for that now, aren't we? Which is, incidentally, by the way, why I would encourage anyone who does any kind of Games Workshop content, start doing something else alongside it. It doesn't have to be your main focus, but do not be a channel that does only 40k, because that will give them a much better reason to sue you. It will give them a much better argument in court. In my case, if they threaten to sue me over making Warhammer 40k law, I'll simply say, okay, that's not all I do. I make Star Wars content. I make uh, Starship Troopers content. And my law content is indistinguishable from yours. I even have my own stuff made for it as well. Nor how I ever claim to be official and so on and so on. But again, it's Games Workshop. And in these cases where it's copyright, it's all open to a lot of interpretation. A lot of legalistic interpretation. Now, a normal company, like, how oh, even Disney is not this aggressive, which is... Mm. When Games Workshop starts turning into a worse company than Disney, man, do you know that we are in for some rough bloody years ahead of us, uh, but... Anywho, this is of course based off um, a Korean post by someone that we can't verify as being Sodas, but all of his videos have been taken down. And we do also have the last church guys who did post a comment on one of their videos. I don't know if it's available any further now, which basically said the same thing. Again, we were approached by Games Workshop, don't you want to work for us instead? And if you don't, you know, it would be a shame if we had to sue you. And so they took took down their video as well. There is currently a uh, re-upload of it available on YouTube, by the way, incidentally, if you want to check it out, so that's a thing. But yeah, this is incredibly predatory, it is incredibly bad for the community, and all it's really doing is it's strangling the creative spirit. It is going to people who made these things out of a genuine sense of passion and threatening them into becoming corporate cogs instead. That's not going to produce a superior product as far as I'm concerned. Anywho, let me know what uh, your opinions are in the comment down below, and if you can read Korean and I'm way off the mark, again, please do let me know. Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Till then, have a good day.